When the bells ring, let the trumpets sing, let the voices ring. In the moment of silence between the announcement and the applause before the first glass is raised and voices join in chorus let us take a moment to pause a moment to stop a moment to breathe a moment of silence and a prayer for their deceased before the cheers rise and amplify through throats and dancing begins before news announcements, newspaper headlines and sighs of relief. Before climbing of lampposts for vantage points in trees. Before battalions of people gather for as far as the eye can see. Before parties bunting and a euphoric feeling of release. The celebration of a day that many thought they'd never see. Let us take a moment to breathe. Because history tells us that the postponement of grief is brief, fleeting and difficult to see. You see, victory requires allies, it cannot be achieved alone. Its impact is unsustainable, it will be rationed once more, that's why heavy are the heads who occupy the thrones, because they know how easily euphoria is forgotten once reality resumes and the armies return home. That victory is not in the ending, but in the continuation of peace. And the smouldering embers of a ceasefire will only smoulder as long as the size of a man's ego is decreased. That's why it's not about winning, my friends. It's not a playground argument. War is not a fight. It's about walking away from confrontation and doing what is right. And understanding the consequences of action and the real impact of war. A medal on your chest or your people knowing which one you value more. And when the battle is over and the last bullet is shot, that you do everything in your power to ensure that at last the war has stopped.